In 2022, Alima Abubaka raised an alarm. She said she and Apostle Johnson, Joshua Abina Johnson Suleiman said that be the dates. She said she will get believed for the man 30 times. She said, as a matter of fact, when she and the man break up, she got sick. Said Apostle John C. Suleiman, I used to shoot in Naka for a family that I raised her alarm for social media. Apostle John C. Suleiman, leave our daughter alone, you know. Yesterday, yeah, I said yesterday, last year, she came on Instagram Live. Was that not just love Instagram Live? If I'm not mistaken, a princess, now interviewer. Started to download, started to download, started to download. Laid a lot of accusation. Apostle John Suleiman called go court. And the court awarded 10 million naira against Ali Mabubaka to be paid to Apostle John Suleiman for defamation of character. The court said, make it not post anything again to defame the man. But all of a sudden, we are shocked today. Ali Mabubaka wrote an apology. To Apostle John C. Suleiman. Let's go through this apology later. Personal letter of apology. Dear Apostle John C. Suleiman, sir, I'm writing you today to acknowledge the falsehoods I've made against you on social media and to offer my sincerest apologies. After deep reflection and for my conscience to be in a good accord with God, I have realized the depth of the harm, pains, and distress caused by my lies. I admit that I made false allegations against you and also regret my actions and the damage I caused to you, your wife, Dr. And Mrs. Lizzie Sleman, your family, and the leaders of the Omega Fire Ministry. We this later humbly ask for your forgiveness, recognizing that my apologies cannot undo the harm, pains, and distress I caused. And I ask you, I ask you to find a place in your heart to forgive me as I was not thinking right then, sir. You have done a lot for humanity. Please extend your hands of forgiveness toward me. Once again, sir, I am truly sorry for the hurt and distress I caused you, your family, and your ministry. Thank you very much, and may the heavens calm your heart. God bless you. So, in this letter, Alima Bubaka is claiming that the things she said against the pastor were lies. And she wants her conscience to be clear with God. So, therefore, she's apologizing to the man and his wife. And the Omega Fire Ministry because of the harm which would not cause them. But Apostle John C. Suleiman responded. This is his tweet. She said, You all should stop calling my phone. Forgiveness is not memory loss, status quo maintained. In other words, Apostle John C. Suleiman is saying, I know dream. Many Nigerians believe. Say Alima they apologize on that duress. As she don't lay the accusation, the matter don't reach court. She could not look, say, I don't get power to fight this man. So instead of me fighting a battle, I cannot win, man, just apologize and move on. That's what many Nigerians believe is happening now. And it's possible because of Nigeria would be. And then it's also possible that Lima Abubakar just seek her own sickness. Job deciding as somebody to do because we'll be Nigerians. Even when they could believe that the warriors from village and laid an accusation that is now considered a false accusation by the court. You see, many people feel if one person get money and the other person don't get money, who we'll get money will always win for court. But it's not always like that. Just now, now we had a case between very dark man and um, Jeremiah Fufen, who does it look like he's winning in court? You see, if you do your homework well, you would have your day in court. It's possible that there is still election against you for court, but most times, we don't do our homework well before we lay this accusation. So even if your accusation is true, that homework you never do well. Your accuser will not become the victim. So now everybody fights you for not doing your homework well. You get the courts does not work with emotions, they work with facts. And as all well, these pastors they do, we're not working in the court of law. 
And I'm going to get money pass and we not walk in the court of law. And if you listen to the woman where you listen to the talk show, we not walk in the court of law. Your hardened fact is what we walk in the court of law. And most times people when they make accusation, they know they keep their documents well, they know they position, they know they they know they do their homework well before they lay the accusation. So most times they end up laying accusations in the hurry. That is why many people still don't understand why Femi fall and they take your time. You don't lay accusations in it. If not, when you get to court, you will look stupid. Now, 10 million has been awarded against her. If you look at from the part of Apostle John Sisulema, you're not going to blame him too. What if they rely for head? And you know who lay accusation don't lay, and the accusation does tickle. If you guys like me, come back five years later, because they lie you as far as Nigerians are concerned. Not true. So the man that has been accused is fighting from the point of, oh, you think you can just apologize and go away? Meanwhile, they see all gone me. You will hear from me. There's some people they say after I go pastor, they preach forgiveness. Bro, bro, leave pastor first. Now man, before you become pastor, you know. On this very matter, we don't know who is lying and who is saying the truth. But when you look at the the way actresses are coming out and talking against this man is either that the actresses are stupid. They have to be stupid, you know, adult. Because today one go, he come back complain. Tomorrow another one go, he come back, he complain. Third day another one go, he come back, he complain. I don't understand they go. Is that you people are stupid or not they lie? Explain to me why are you even going there again? Was it love that took you there or money? When I go to do celebrity, they do a lotion on the side. Now, a lot of guys when I go there, I'm not money. Because I want to talk now, I don't buy you, my God. When I don't buy bears. We, the men, now when they did us, you're going to say, we know they work hard. Is it love that took you down or a lotion? Almost 80% of Nigerian guests, even the ones who they work, it's like that they do a lotion on the side. You go club, they dance, you talk to a baby, you find out that she be banker or she be nurse. So, why are you here giving people Bobby to press for 2000 who they won't spray you? Now this will chew cocoa. Now they carry on into this problem. Now this is my name. I'm back away telling us the pastor used you to make her sick. If you go a page on Instagram, you find that now that all of a sudden she's very healthy. So that sickness don't end. Is it that the juju expire, or now you get your own normal sickness before we just decide see somebody now they do you? These are questions we need to look at and ask. And apostle Justice Suleyma, why your name not the come up with story? You be tortoise. Everybody's pointing to you. Everybody's pointing to you. Yeah, but there must be something that is making them point at only well, you. Because we know they hear them point at Joshua Selman. We know they hear them point at um, Kingsley Ukonko. We know they hear them point at Yadiboye. Yeah, we know they hear them point at every other pastor. Why is he you? These are questions that we need to ask. But it's well, not only God will fit talk who they talk to or who they lie for this matter because we're not going to know again. 